guys, Retro Badger here. So welcome to the first mission of Star Trek Bridge Crew, titled Shakedown. So here we go. Captain's Log, Stardate 2258.161. My crew is assembled, and we're preparing to disembark on our expedition to the trench. Before we depart, however, Starfleet Command has asked us to complete one final exercise to confirm the Aegis's fitness for the mission ahead, and undoubtedly to test the readiness of her captain and crew. Okay. That, from the outside. Captain, we have oh, a message incoming from Deep Space K7. <laughs> Opening channel. Aegis, we have a freighter coming into dock and we've, uh... We've had a little trouble lately with smugglers trafficking invasive species. On your way out, I think it'd be best for everyone if you could just verify the ship isn't carrying any wildlife. Okay. As I was going to say, from the outside, this ship uh, looks a bit like the Excelsior. I'm not sure if that's what they were going for. It's certainly not a constitution. Okay, so let's look at our objectives around the bridge actually first okay so it's the um it's in the style of the newer star trek movies i do like those sort of see-through displays they're really cool i'm assuming that's like a computer core okay let's look at the objectives we have so oops so we need to scan the vessel for wildlife now in terms of uh, usability with the ships. I find this one the easiest ship to use. So let's go to local and we'll find that ship. There's a Ragusa. And then we can just quickly say Hi, Captain. Changing target. Analyze target. Scanning target. So now the ship will move towards the other ship and we'll scan it. I think we need to be within 15 kilometers to get a good scan. Just moving around the station. I'm pretty sure that's K7 as well. Transferring analysis to your panel, Captain. I am not detecting any unusual life forms aboard the freighter, Captain. I'll let K7 know the ship's clean. Okay. So now we need to warp to the Gamma Hydra sector, I'm assuming, to continue our patrol. Okay. Gamma Hydra. Plotted. Now we need to prepare for warp. Aye, aye. Preparing for warp. Diverting power. Warp course laid in. Aligning warp vector. Warp vector aligned. Warp On your mark, Captain. Charged. Let's go. Aye. Oh, cool. Right. Let's have a look out there. Wow. Okay, so it's quite a lot of debris there, isn't there? What's going on? I'm picking up a distress signal, Captain. Channel open. USS Aegis. My vessel has lost all power and our life support systems are nearly exhausted. We have a crew of six. I request that you take us aboard your ship as soon as possible. Okay, let's head over there then. Yes, Following the target. Updating target. Amazing the difference uh, between this and Bridge Commander. I mean, just look at all the different debris scattered around. It's incredible. I have a new report from maintenance to check out. New report from maintenance, eh? I'm assuming our shields are up. I'm not sure if they are actually. Scan initiated. That's tactical. No. Do you think we should raise shields? Why not? Understood. Raising shields. It's like going to yellow alert, isn't it? I mean, you see a ship in distress. A lot of suspicious looking debris around. I think that's the right call. I will update your panel, Captain. We've got life signs. Okay, let's transport. 
Stay you with got it. Lowering shield. Establishing lock. Oh, yeah, we have to lower the shields, don't we? Now you can actually go. Uh, Energizing. Oh, here we go. You can actually go to the station and beam them aboard yourself. Oh, the vessel cool. is empty, and all crew members are accounted for. All right then. We've rescued the crew. Now what do we do? Hey, that rhymes. We have a priority message incoming from Starfleet Command. Ooh. Should we answer it or not? <laughs> Opening channel. Captain, we've lost contact with one of our survey vessels, the USS Nicholson. You're the closest ship to their last known position. We need you to locate the vessel and render any aid they may need. We're sending their last coordinates to you now. Starfleet out. Okay. Gamma Hydra, section... Is that eight or six? Six. Uh, oh, there it is. Calculating travel vector. So, we're, it's in the same sector, so we're just going to use impulse. Aye, aye. Diverting power for impulse. Making ready for impulse. I'm going to keep the Call shields spotted. raised, as I think it's a yellow mm. alert situation. Aye, aye, Captain. Engage. So we're at impulse right now. Pretty cool. They never showed this in the TV show, did they? And we saw warp, but we never saw how cool impulse was. Okay. We've arrived. Captain, I'm detecting gravitic mines in the area. If we get too close, they'll be attracted to our hull, and the damage could be severe. We should keep our distance. Right. Ah, uh, okay. The environment is inhibiting the effectiveness of our sensors, Captain. We are, however, detecting pockets of plasma coolant. They may provide clues as to the Nicholson's whereabouts. Problem is, we have some mines in the way there. I'm thinking we're going to have to destroy them. The mines, of course, not the ship. Let's go to Red Alert. Aye, aye, Captain. Shields up. Arming torpedoes. I don't like the sound of mines. Aye, Captain. Target selected. Scanning. So, that's the mine over there. Really, it's not told me any more information about the mine, though, has it? I guess we could try flying towards the plasma coolant. Aye, aye. Locking on target. Now, if initiating scan, if the mines attack us, then we should fire back. But as Starfleet, uh, you don't fire first, do you? Are the rules. I'm updating your panel, Captain. Uh, I don't like the look of that. Oh, that's getting close. Crikey. Okay, I think we just missed it. It's gone red, though. I don't the like sensors the are detecting a distress beacon, but it is not a Federation frequency. It looks like a civilian vessel needs assistance as well. Um, what was that? I'm picking up a signal on emergency frequencies. Uh oh, we're we'll being followed by mine here. Aegis, according to my engineer, our engines are locked in some sort of malfunction cycle. If we could temporarily override them, I think we can fix the problem. 
Where's that mine gone? Did it explode and hit us? I'd be a terrible tactical officer. Uh, yeah, I don't know what happened. It might have blown up. Okay. Well, let's help the um, civilians. Wherever they are. Anomaly, grab a metric mine. Side there. Roger that. New target locked. Scanning. I am sending new data to your panel, Captain. What's cool as well is that this game was on the PS4, which I think is really cool. They put it on a game console. Friends. What have you sent to my panel? Warning. Oh. Entering the anomaly. Oh. Well, the shields are up, so we should be Captain, okay. We've reached our destination. So it's just a case of scanning. Ah, there's the ship. Right. Following the target. New target. Don't fly into any asteroids. We can control the helm if we want to, but I prefer to just give orders, to be honest, because I'll probably crash into something. Let's have a look around the bridge. So we've got a Vulcan. Quite a few humans, I think. It's a neat looking ship. I like it. Okay, there's quite a few mines here, actually. Um, oh gosh, hang on. Okay, we got a problem. It's, uh... <laughs> Oh. Wow. Good piloting, Helm. Where are you flying? Oh dear. That mine's uh, locked onto us. I will update your panel, Captain. Oh dear. I think this is going to hit. Nope, it's foot. Oh, it's locked onto us, I think. I can see it there. It's gonna hit. There we go. Impact. Exiting the anomaly. Excellent. No, stop. <sighs> Where's the helm? There we are. Full stop. Full stop. Right. I almost wonder if we're gonna have to deal with these mines because they're becoming a bit problematic. Have they all blown up now? There's one. Aye, aye. Targeting. Engaging. Don't waste torpedoes. Just use your phasers. Oh, you just... You can't get the staff these days. Right. I'm not happy with what she did there. She's a bit trigger happy with those torpedoes, isn't she? Fine, we'll do it ourselves. So. There's a mine. <laughs> Yeah, there we go. Right. And we don't want to hit that. Right, can we scan? No, won't let us. Select engine subsystem via system intrusion. Okay. Um, I'm confused. Which one is it on? Is it operations? Helm. System intrusion, there we go. Um. I hope I'm doing the right thing here and I'm not just like attacking them. Target system. It looks like that fixed it. Oh, okay. We should be able to take it from here. Thanks for your help. You probably just saved all our lives. Works for me. <laughs> Okay, so let's get back to finding what's happened to those um, Starfleet vessel. Understood. Updating target. I'm really getting the hang of this now. Scan. It's um, you you do have to like have a mess around with it. It does have. I'd say the learning curve's about average. It's not impossible, but it's not. You can't just pick it up and play it. It's just about right, I think. It, it's not as easy to use as Bridge Commander. And if you have a VR headset, I'm 
sure you're in for a treat. Moving into the detected. One day I will get lost. Ship is showing on sensors now, Captain. We're being hailed. Aegis, this is the USS Nicholson. Our vessel is severely damaged and leaking radiation. Most of my crew escaped, but a few of us are trapped in the forward compartment. I need you to transport us off the ship. And then, well, she's too dangerous. We can't just leave her floating up here. You'll have to scuttle her. Okay, let's go and rescue the uh, Jack Nicholson's crew. Captain, we've reached our destination. Okay, so we need to select Nicholson. Um, how do we um, beam over? Oh, scan for. Staying with them. Blocking new target. Scanning Exiting anomaly. Target. Of course, yeah, we've not scanned that one yet, have we? I'm really getting into the um, this game. It really sucks you in when you play the missions. Transferring data to your panel, Captain. Okay. Let's transport. Hi, Captain. Dropping shield. Acquiring transporter lock. Now, it takes like 20-ish seconds to transport people, I've found. Warp core brief. Energizing. Okay. Should we destroy the ship? Why should Tactical have all the fun? Oops. Okay. Hi, Captain. Arming torpedoes. How annoyed would you be, like, if this was your job and the captain was like, oh, I want to press the button? Ah, but you see, the helm isn't. <laughs> okay, I'll just let them do it. Whoa! Oh dear, what happened there? Warning. Hull integrity at 25. Captain, I have an update from Starfleet Command. They're sending us new coordinates. Uh. <laughs> oh, that, come on, that's funny. Can you imagine if Starfleet Command just came on the screen now? And they're like, uh, oh, looks like you got a bit of smoke and fire there. Like, oh, no, no, it's nothing. It's just a flickering light. Seriously, what happened there? I almost wonder if we hit a mine. Right, uh, now, repairs, you have to go to operations. So imagine, oh, so it's engineering on this one. Oh, it's different. You see, I'm used to using the um, next generation one. Oh, look at this. Engines 100%. We're fine. I really don't get it. It's just like the bridge. Okay, well, whatever. Um, all looks fine to me, apart from the uh, slight explosion that didn't happen over there. Let's just not mention this to Starfleet and we'll be fine. So they want us to impulse to section 10. Oh, that's warp. Duh. 10. Neutral zone boundary. Oh dear. I've noticed before they travel, they always disarm with torpedoes. Which I find course interesting. Laid in, Captain. Also, I've heard when the warp coils are charged up, you can't do certain things, like fire certain weapons. Aye, aye, Captain. Here we go. Damage. We might have to take the ship to Quarks. He can fix it. Then it won't go on the insurance, will it? My insurance record will be terrible. 
I do like those warp nacelles, how they're spinning round, that's pretty cool. Here we go. Captain, I'm oh. getting something on the distress channel. Oh dear. Bring it on screen. Don't leave the flashback. Places them in the Klingon neutral zone. Entering the zone would put us in violation of treaty. Neutral zone must be violated to reach transporter range. Kobayashi Maru will be destroyed by Klingons if not rescued. Violation will cause hostile Klingon response. Well, the way I see it, they must have a very good reason for having to cross the neutral zone. And they're a Federation ship in distress, so we're just helping a ship in distress, aren't we? Stay Roger that. Up. Target selected. Okay, here we go. Oh dear, there's mines. Not good. We're approaching the Klingon neutral zone, Captain. Sugar. Um, I think you can see the problem here we're having. Aye, aye. Locking on target. Firing. Oh, don't fire the photons. Yup. You're so sacked, honestly. You got it. Disarming torpedoes. Thank you. Finally, some more with sense. I think we just have to go for this. Yes, Captain. Changing target. He's very trigger happy with those torpedoes, and I'm telling you, those torpedoes are not cheap. It's funny how she goes for photons first. Right. Now. I'll alert now. Hi, Captain. Arming torpedoes. So we're kind of um, breaking the prime. No, it's not the prime directive, is it? We're just crossing the neutral zone. I'm sure Starfleet will understand. Sending new data to your I'm panel, Captain. Although my name's not James C. Kirk, so I might not get away with this. Whoa! It's mines. Staying I with captain. Shields lock. I just know a Klingon ship's gonna decloak and attack us now. You just feel it, can't you? Come on, transporters. Why are you taking so long? Oh, is that a science vessel? Oh, actually, is that? Energizing. Particle analyzers are reacting, Captain. There may be a close vessel operating in the area. There are still others aboard. Still not got them all yet. Following. Acquiring transporter lock. That's a weird looking ship. A bit like a Miranda, but not. I know we're here. Cloaking. New contact, one enemy vessel. Uh, here we go. It's the Klingons. Can we hail them? No, we can't. You Following the target. target lock. Engage. Opening fire. Energizing. There are others remaining aboard the target. Oh wait, no, no, there you are. We can't leave until we've got the crew though. Yeah. Congratulations, Captain. You and your crew have just completed the Kobayashi Maru simulation. Hey? I know it's not easy this to is a simulation? a situation like that, but it's a necessary test, both for Starfleet and for yourselves. 
I think we all have a better idea now of the decisions you'll make when there's no obvious right answer. Based on your overall performance, I'm not only clearing the Aegis for Operation Distant Shore, I'm recommending that you lead the expedition into the trench. And no damage. Look at that, Admiral. See? No damage. <clears throat> Honest. Wow. Well, there we go. That was the first mission. The uh, introduction one. Wow. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed that. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.